You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Project Runway After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Project Runway After Show. <laughs> Hey everyone, Bing is for doing in here at AfterBuzz TV. We're doing another Project Runway Season 11, Episode 8, A Sticky Situation Recap. I'm Alina. This is our uh, lovely co-host. Hey guys, it's Virginia. Hey guys, it's Lo. Hey guys, it's Cougar. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Let's start this uh, amazing recap. Hey. So the challenge begins with Heidi in her little outfit. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's wearing um, print on print. I and liked it. Really great shoes. I loved those shoes. Yeah, I thought she looked really cute. Wait, Came I'm out. print on print was the second outfit, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. So what was the first outfit? I don't remember. It was like a gold I don't remember either. Dress the only thing I can remember the gold was her shoes. accessory. Yes, which we'll get to the duck. <laughs> the duck, and she had a purpose for the duck. Duct tape. <laughs> mm. How it, clever. I was under the impression that duct tape was with a T. It is. It is. But the, okay. it was the but label. It was the guy duck, that came yeah. in. Okay. It was his label. It was duck, duck brand, brand duct, duct tape. tape. Yes. So that's and what it she was. looked so, she looked at pretty at ease with the duck. Like she, she picked did. it up. And, like maybe it was her duck. Yeah. Do you think, she Fred? Maybe from her little farm. Does she, I don't know. Her little German farm town. Maybe. Flowed flo flo in. Maybe Heidi's just an animal lover. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Did she have it on a leash? She did. It was she like did. a weird harness yeah. thing that it was on. Aw, it was cute. It was cute. Super cute. Two didn't think so, though. I know. Two was hilarious <laughs> yeah. tonight. I was um, like, where has he been this whole time? Yeah, we're, during our recap, we're going to have a full list of two quotables. Yeah, it's yes. going to be two comedy hour. <laughs> All right, let's get to the challenge. Duct tape which is known for being durable, flexible, waterproof, and it was made for World War II, apparently. I thought that was interesting. Who mm. cares about all those facts? You have to create a prom dress out of it. Right. Um, it, Tim said that you make sure it's fashion-forward, fresh, innovative, and um, something teenagers would like. Right. Right. What did you think about the guy from Duct Tape? No I thought he was nerdy. He was kind of, like, yeah. look at my duct tape tie. Yeah, he had a duct tape like, tie. Seriously? The hair, the toupee. The was hair creepy. was a little weird. <laughs> and That's his why. suit was so ill-fitting. And I'm like, he's standing right next to Tim Gunn. I'm like, Tim didn't bother to say anything before they got on camera? Well, Tim can't judge everybody. Yes, he can. Make it work. Yeah, he kind of can. He did his not make that work. Nice Tim way. Yeah. Was yeah. it a double-breasted 80 suit? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Terrible. Hi, why don't I take you over here and put you in one of my suits. Maybe that's why he was not featured throughout the entire episode and that's, just yeah, in that in that one like piece. one yes. second to plug it. They yeah. edited the poor guy out. That's all right. And um, before the challenge, they get paired up again. They change teams. We get Stanley and Liana, Kate and Two, Michelle and Amanda, Richard and Daniel, and Patricia and Samantha. I well, thought this was funny because there was some drama. So yeah. funny. <laughs> so oh, man, funny. the love affair is over. How about the editing yeah. they did with Richard um, being all uh, oh, dramatic about Stanley not choosing well, him? Well, even before that, there they showed them, you know, in the apartments and how he was like, oh, I get to be together again. Like, yeah. he was so excited. I it's feel like so there was obvious. something going on, going on yes, there. I agree. I think it's been so obvious. I feel like For it was a few episodes. Exactly. I think it was a few episodes ago that we noticed that. Yep. We're like, does it seem like Richard just has this thing for Stanley? And yeah. I thought it was just so apparent tonight. Mm -hmm. 
and how so like apparent. hurt he got. Oh my I god. Know. Like, mm, mm. <laughs> the editing was perfect though because right before that they're oh, yeah. like, I love Stanley. I'm so glad we're staying together now because yeah. we're partners too. Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, yeah. he said something Your like I'm confident. Wink wink. Yeah. Yeah, or he said something like, I'm confident that, you know, we'll stick together in this, so we'll get to work together and then sure enough, A Stanley. St Stanley, hmm. I like to learn new things and yeah. I feel like I can learn a lot from Leana. Right. Has less experience. <laughs> Who is basically like out of high school, or I don't even know, but. Yeah. Yeah, what a, yeah, what a backstab pick. Backstab. But was it though? Don't you think it seems like it's Richard is the one that's all like obsessed with Stanley and like maybe Stanley is kind of. He does have an obsessive personality. Whatever. Because yeah. I feel like he's about to be obsessed with Daniel. Oh, yeah. Like now it's We're his so new great thing. together. He's going to try and make Stanley jealous. And I just think Stanley was kind of like, hmm, who should I pick now? And like pick Liana. And I don't think he thought no. too much about it. No. Unless if what we didn't see, unless if Richard was like smothering him and mm. he had to get out of the I relationship. I feel like Richard's a smotherer. <laughs> Probably. Yes. Probably. But I don't think Daniel minds being smothered. So that'd <laughs> be good. Yeah. yeah. They oh like my it. god. And it we works. have a lot of comments about Daniel coming up. Ooh. Ugh. Should we get right into the workroom then? Because apparently, well, challenge wise, that's it. They get their duct tape. They yeah. have 35 different patterns to choose from. And um, the yeah. team changed. And that's it. Who, who said that? Somebody said, I already know they'll be in the box. Kate said that about, I think, Michelle and Amanda. Yeah, she said that she knows that they're. I already know be they'll be in the, in the bottom. bottom. Right. Oh, the irony. Interesting. The irony well, she there. She said she only wanted to work with two because, you know, the other three girls, they like get together and they're kind of bitchy to each other. Right. Oh, yeah, she straight out called them bitches. Bitches. Oh, and that? then wow. Sam and Patricia. Nobody wants to work with Patricia. I Sam know. is freaking out at the thought of working with yeah. Patricia. Well, I don't blame them because she's really hard to understand. She has a completely different aesthetic. She does. She's and talented, she's but making too. Stuff up she is a lone wolf. She is a lone she wolf. She is, but I think she's good at what she does. No, so she I mean, obviously. I feel like if you want to be a better designer, you know, you have to set aside your differences in working together and maybe commit to working her with her or want to work with her because she could teach you something new. But she, she could bring also, something new to the table. She's not going to let you get your ideas in there because she's yeah, defensive yeah. and she wants her way and, you know, she's not very compatible with anybody herself. Yeah. But if yeah. you think about it, like, when you're going in there, you're, no, like, you know what you want. Like, as a designer, if you're that strong, which she is, like, even though she's very strange, like, when you have an idea, you don't think anybody else's is better than yours. Like, when you know... Right. You're that good. So I would, if, if I was her, I, I mean, I can completely relate because it's like, why would I let you design it when I know my design is going to be better and stronger? Yeah, I just think it's about compromising. You know what I mean? You yeah. might know that, but you also have to know that it's a team challenge. So you have to at least let something of theirs show through. So right. I think that's, I think that's the biggest challenge of it all is yeah, working together. Yeah, that is together. a huge challenge. And they bring that up later. That'll be something that comes back to haunt somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of would, like this was the first challenge where I was kind of thinking what would it have been like if they weren't on teams because there was so many of those like, you know, two didn't really do much on his own mm -hmm. and, you know, the same thing with Patricia um, and Samantha. It was kind of like they would have had two different things. But the other teams were kind of like, oh, yeah, you did this. You did this. We put it right. together. Right. When we go to runway, though, six hours or not runway um, workroom. Six hours till they're supposed to go off and do their first little show and tell. Their high school event. Six hours. Let's get yeah, to the workroom. Um, we begin with Liana and Richard, Stanley. All that drama is still going on because <laughs> Liana feels that Richard is jealous of the fact that she's with Stanley now and jealous of her period because he won't share the gold tape. The What'd you guys think of uh, Goldgate? So I mean, Goldgate, Goldgate, right. It was pretty bad. That was pretty, so funny. I would have done it. That was pretty shady Why? Though, to grab all Why? of it. I yeah. want all the gold. It was like there was little leprechauns. Because the it was like, if you, like, I mean, gold is a huge color. And so, you know, it, you could have made it. They could have made it. Okay, with the dress that they had, it was mm. terrible. But, like, if you would have made something really fabulous with, like, a long train, you you could have possibly needed all that tape. And gold is such a standout color for someone else to have it, you know. Right. I don't know. I But I think the reason why they did it, it wasn't because they wanted their dress to be the standout dress. I mean, obviously, they wanted gold. But they wanted to take all the gold because... 
Because Richard was all pissy about Stanley, yeah. and right. so he didn't <laughs> want them Daniel to have the got option. Sucked into that. And I agree with Liana. I, I mean, I don't know that Richard is jealous of her in general, but he was obviously jealous that Stanley picked her. Yeah. I mean, right. that wasn't in question. Yeah, and the gold was used against them. Yeah. I thought that was lame, childish. And now there's going to be all sorts of drama for the rest of the season between Stanley and Richard, or Richard and anybody who leaves him. And mm -hmm. I don't even think Stanley knows what's going on is the no. worst exactly. part of it. Exactly. Stanley doesn't Stanley even like, care. I think that's the best does, part of it. Nor does he <laughs> care about the gold. Nor does he care. <laughs> no. Um, Liana and Stanley are also clashing over the hot pink zebra tape. Oh, yeah. Okay, I agree with Liana. I was like, what is he thinking? Yeah, he hot wait, pink? he wanted the hot, hot no, I thought she he, wanted the hot pink. He no. wanted the hot pink zebra print. Oh. Oh, it was yeah, zebra? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. See, this is where I was, I thought, because I was doing something while I was watching this, to be honest, I thought he just wanted a solid hot pink, but, and then she wanted a zebra, and I was like, I think I'd rather go like a solid That's pink, right. hot pink. That's what right. I thought it was, but that was not and it. Leona's no. like, girls don't want to wear pink. Yeah. That much pink to prom and whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, I can't do her accent. But she picked black <laughs> and white zebra, night, right? Yes. So they still went zebra. They still went zebra. I didn't like But the way that zebra. they did, I don't the, the way right. that they did it, you couldn't really tell it just because it was such a small. Yeah. Right. right. But when I heard black and oh, let's do black and white zebra, I was just thinking like zebra. Mm. No, right. please don't. I didn't like zebra either, but it did look good from right. far. Right. Yes. But far from good. Because then <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna be like the whole thing in zebra. Yeah. So oh, that would have been. That terrible. was what I was afraid of. Exactly. Let's move on to some more drama Bumpy. because we have Miss Boss Lady Kate, who just is running too. She. <laughs> Picks, she, Let me see how you run it, run it. She <laughs> gets to choose the sketch, mm -hmm. yeah. the design. She says we have to have a long dress because I've been to prom. I make prom dresses. Right. And but uh, what else? I uh, thought that that was totally legit because this was my first favorite two quote. I don't wear a dress to prom, but Kate does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great quote. But listen, Oscar de la Renta didn't wear a prom dress or a wedding yeah. dress. But you're still going to trust his judgment. He's a designer. Right. Yeah. Like, That's come a good on, point. too. I well, don't remember what his sketch was like. Do you guys? Do you remember uh, if it was cute no, or not? No, I don't. It was short, and I feel like it was more modern. Yeah. But I don't wear a dress to prom. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I thought it was interesting when Kate made that comment when she said, there's one cook in this kitchen, and it's oh, me. Yeah. Like, she basically addressed the fact that she knows working with two, she's getting her way and she's the boss. Right. Yes. And I thought that was interesting because it's like, you know, first they showed her in the beginning saying that she likes working with two because everybody else is a bitch, this person's weird or whatever. And then, you know, she's like, I get, I work with him so well and we get along so well. And then later after she picks him, you really see that she picked him because she can Push use him around. to do what she wants. Listen, this is why she picks two. Everybody else is a bitch, and he is her bitch. Exactly. Yeah. That's so it. She's got to have power That's somewhere, right. and nobody else is going to give yeah. her power. She basically designs everything and does everything, and then he cuts and sews. And oh, yeah, and she was, like, telling him what to do, pointing, do this. Cutting. And he sewing. sewing. Well, he sucks at sewing, like, right. It's a duct tape challenge, so yeah. he just tapes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Little off cue. Late. But yeah, no, no, no. Late, but still appreciated. <laughs> Thanks, Lemieux. It's the Thank effort that you, counts. Steven. Come on, guys. Yep. So then we see Kate and Amanda get together, creating patterns, and they are all buddy buddy. Michelle and Amanda. Oh, sorry, sorry. Michelle. That's what I meant. Yes. Didn't write it down. Michelle yeah, that and Amanda. Was interesting. Super buddy buddy. Super buddy buddy, and I thought it was pretty courageous to create their own pattern. Right. Mm -hmm. At first, I was like, I had no idea work. how they were gonna right. do that in six hours. And giant houndstooth. Yeah. That didn't sound right. I was no. Like, That's not gonna look good. No. Yeah, no. I was tending to agree with what other people were saying. I think. I think it was Kate who was like, that just looks like it's a costume, and it looked like that's what it was becoming. It did. It really looked like it was going to be that Alice in Wonderland, you know, yeah. Queen of Hearts, you know, with the big collar and everything like that. And so I was not a fan, but I think I'm just not a fan because they both have terrible attitudes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but together they were like peaches and cream. Exactly. They were. They work so well together. I know. Mean girls. Yeah. Mean exactly. girls. That's it. Liana right. and uh, let's talk about Tim visiting. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right before Tim comes in, 
the only thing comment I want to make is it cuts over to Richard and Daniel. And Daniel, in his white T-shirt, I swear he's doubled in size since the beginning of the season. Am I right? They must you have good craft food service. On yeah, yeah. That's what, what I kind of say. food service are they getting? Because dude ones. is getting fat. Dude, and it's all in the midsection. That's all in dangerous. the midsection. Yeah. Panda yeah. Express, man. Craft services of kings. Panda, Panda Express. Express. I don't think so. I don't I'm see sure Daniel Lifetime. eating. No. Yeah, no. Lifetime is coughing up the cash, and it's not yeah. Panda Express. When I remember, they were they were filming in my building a while ago, and they were like, "Oh, hey, just you can go get some of the food." And I went there, and it was like it was chili cheese dogs and cheeseburgers, anything you could want, like right. yeah. chili cheese tater Daniel pods. is taking oh. full advantage of that. Yeah, but it's probably like gourmet style, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, this yeah. was like the best chili cheese. Like, I wanted to put it on everything. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> like every day, I was like fries, burgers. Do you think yeah. that whatever Daniel's eating, he's just covering in chili cheese? Maybe. Probably. Extra like layer. Sounds oh really good right now. God, Sugar he's getting you. Oh. So big. So big. He's so big. <laughs> Anyways, I sorry. Know. So I notice I notice Daniel getting fatter, and then Tim comes in. And then yeah. Tim comes in, and the first people he talks to is Lyanna and Stanley. Stanley, he's worried about the lack of pop. So Was that he, it? Yeah, because at first they just had the black and white dress, and they were talking oh, about right, yeah. the pink bow. Mm. And they were going to put, like, a little tiny bow. And he was like, no, if you're going to do a bow, do it. Do a bow. Do a big bow. Otherwise, or I'm not concerned. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. What did you guys think of the dress so far in the workroom? Theirs I didn't like. I didn't yeah, either. I didn't either when I first saw it. I liked the, the structure of it. Like, I could see right. where it was going and how, you know, um, I mean, it, it did have that modern feel to it. But I really, that pink was just like, ugh. Yeah, that's I from like ten agree. years ago. You know? I agree. Zebra. I brought hot pink. And yes, black, that's white, exactly pink. what I was thinking. And I, sometimes I even just think black and pink, black zebra and hot pink. Like then it's just it's bad. But sometimes black and hot pink, like you really need to be careful with that because that just looks it's so too old, hot so topic. dated, so yeah, dated. Hot topic. It reminds like me of tweens from two thousand two. Exactly, tweens. Tweens from two thousand two. <laughs> Queens from 2002 were rocking the black and hot yeah. pink. I guarantee it. Because we were teens in 2002. Were tween? And the tweens, no. 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 We sure were the I teens. Was. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. I was, I, was we were, I was definitely not a tween. <laughs> we were teens. We were we, teens, and the tweens were not up on the fashion. I had just sense. left my teenage years. Mm, right. Same. Uh. Patricia <laughs> and Samantha. Again, Tim is coaching these kids on cohesiveness. They have two tops, two different skirts. He's like, what's going on yeah. here? Yeah. Right. They're not collaborating. And then Sam is like, it looks like she was going to need a paper bag. And yes. Patricia had the crazy eyes. She had, well, she, when uh. does she not have the crazy <laughs> eyes? I liked what Tim told them. And he was just questioning, are you working hard or are you working smart? And he just reminded them to work smart. He said, otherwise, you're going to have some fabulous wrapping paper. And I couldn't agree more because when I saw them working on it in the workroom, I was like, oh, no, like, this is not right. This is not good. Yeah. Right. I didn't see anybody in the workroom. I don't think that I was saying, oh, I really like what they're doing so far. No. Not a single Like, I one. liked the gold. When they picked out the gold, I was like, okay, gold, I like gold. But then as it continued, I didn't like it. So let's move on to, speaking of gold, Richard mm -hmm. and Daniel. Uh, Tim comes in and says, looks like a wow. Looks right. like a wow. But here's the thing. I kind of agreed before that nasty ruffle exactly. situation that was added to the dress. It looks sleek, simple. I like the little detail on the side. Right. Sweetheart neckline. It looks modern. It would yeah. have had a, I didn't like the detail on the They probably the side would have, you all. know, like manufactured that in black. You know, that would yeah. have been a black dress, yeah. you know. Here's the thing, though. At least it looked modern. And what 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 were they thinking okay. with the ruffle? Just to that made it really Ooh, 80s. That was yeah, wasn't 80s. that Daniel? Daniel came up with the ruffle thing. It was terrible. Yeah, it was him because I think Richard was doing the lattice deal. And the worst part is, is that he even mentions on the runway. I'm stepping ahead that um, he, they were inspired by Sweet Sixteen. Sixteen wow. candles. Sixteen yes. candles. Sixteen candles. I'm sorry. Wow. Why are you going to even mention the fact that you're inspired by a movie from 19, what, 85? Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Oh. Molly Ringwald, what a hottie. <laughs> oh, boy. I uh, just feel like yeah. the caliber is so low this season. Like, I know you've so said it before. So low. But, yeah, I mean, like how you said you weren't right. impressed with 
anything in the workroom. I have not been impressed. I can't even remember anything that impressed me in the last couple episodes. No. I agree. Yeah. There's nobody You're to right. root for. Because it's like right now I'm rooting for them all to get kicked off. Right. I feel like I might be impressed every now and then in the moment, but they're not memorable. No. Like yeah. I can't think in the season like, ah, uh, that one dress. You know, because even when we, when Vin was a designer last Project Runway season, we remembered his looks in the beginning. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? We like loved what he was doing. Well, it was hard to forget the rosette. He didn't let us That's forget true. that. That's <laughs> true. When but you do it over and over, we're gonna tend to remember. In past seasons too, I've looked at dresses yeah. and gone, oh my God. I love that dress. I right. want that dress. Do you think it might have anything to do with the sponsor deal that they seem to be like, everything is sponsored now? You know, right. the Glade double scented candle challenge, the duct tape challenge with the high schoolers. Well, I don't well think and it's so. a collaborative like challenge. Just because the show's a big commercial now doesn't mean that they can't get good designers. Yeah, because yeah. they always do an unconventional challenge and there's still, you know, designs that I can remember. You know, I don't, I don't think it's that. It's like... You should be able to design to whatever this challenge is. Right. Yeah. Like Mitri's candy dress. Exactly. Mm, the skirt oh, that yeah. moved. Oh, Mitri. Oh, Mitri. Total Your obsession will costume. never end. Never. <laughs> All right. Michelle and Amanda. Um, I feel like Tim liked the dress, but he was only concerned about time. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. They're freaking making their own fabric. Yeah. yeah. Making giant. How did they even do that, I wonder? I don't know. Like and Heidi it was said, Matt. Perfectly. Yeah, with them, the first thing that I noticed in the workroom is just how much fun they were actually having together. And I was like, this is the first time I think I've seen either of these contestants have fun. So I feel like yeah. they really met their match with each other. Mm -hmm. mm. Speaking of matches, Kate and two, Tim Gunn is not impressed. He tells them this is forgettable. Flat, forgettable. Well, why would he use denim? Mm -hmm. Like a denim texture for a prom dress. Right. Awful. Awful. I don't and I'm it. sad because I really awful. liked Kate. I really liked two. Like, <laughs> oh man, I was rooting for two to. I mean, I didn't really like him. I guess because I didn't know him. But still, you just since like I didn't his know comments. him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to keep him around for a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. This is like the Casanova Kuan situation, right? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> sad. I did like that they had a high school event. They were all dreading it. All the designers were like, teenagers, no. <laughs> yeah. um, like and we I don't blame them. Teenagers. Besides Daniel, he was quite excited to be in the gymnasium. I haven't heard that word <laughs> yeah. in ever. He's, he's just so positive, and like, the things that he gets off on are really funny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like him. Gymnasium. Funny. We're going to the gym to see some kids. Yeah. I think it's funny they went from one extreme to the next, like they did the old people last week and now oh, they're doing yeah. the young people. Like, that would be exhausting. Yes. And they do it within a matter of, what, hours or, like, a yeah, couple the, days. It's, like, back this, to back. This challenge they did in a day, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I think that could also be the problem because, you know, back in the day when right. Project Runway started, they had, like, two days sometimes, you know, to do these projects. They had six hours. I mean, what can you make in six Bless hours? Right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And the episodes have been really long, you know, just as far as the runtime and everything, but the they don't give them any time to get these challenges out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they should extend the challenge. That's a good point. All right. Hope you're taking notes out there, Project Yeah, Online. I hope they're watching. <laughs> Speaking of the high school event, the kids get to vote, and um, a part of that goes into the overall vote. 20% of 20. the overall vote is determined by the kids. Were you surprised by who they chose? Mm, no. no, I wasn't surprised. Yeah, well, by who they chose. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, I was Patricia so surprised. Patricia and Samantha's futuristic dress. Yes, that because they didn't show a huge crowd of people around it. I thought, just based on the commentary that they cut in, that the winner was actually going to be Kate and two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, because there were people that were like, "Oh, that looks like a real prom dress." Yeah, and girls were saying, I want that, I, I want love that. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the way they cut that really threw me off. Yeah. Richard was saying, I feel like such a pageant mom. I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it didn't surprise me. It's funny because right before they went to this high school event and they were showing them, like, put the outfits on their models, when I first saw Patricia's and Samantha's, I was like, ugh, I didn't ugh. know if I liked it. And then when I saw all of the looks come down, it was my favorite. I I don't I don't know why I don't know if it was the cut but I was like Kate and two that's so boring Daniel and Richard gold it's old looking 
So then once they actually announce a winner, I, I wasn't surprised because at that point, that was my favorite too. I feel like it looked like the most fashion forward in the exactly. gym. Exactly. You know, it was like the high low that's been in trend and yeah, everything else was kind of like eh. Right. It like wasn't we've even seen that it good. before. It was the it was the best of the worst. Exactly. As a man, I would not have taken my prom date in that dress. Which one would you want your prom date to wear? And honestly, if I was going to take any of those dresses to prom, it would have been Kate and Two's. I thought it was elegant. Because I like long dresses. And yes, the denim was a terrible choice, but I didn't even know it was denim until the very end, and they pointed right. that out. So I, I thought agree. it was, I actually didn't like the fact that when they go back to the workroom, sorry to skip ahead a little bit, she adds more like texture and stuff to it because I thought it was simple and elegant. And, you know, I would have wanted my little prom queen and, and that style of dress. <laughs> I really liked the, you know, the cutout that right. she did. If there would have been more of that on the bottom, I think that would have been better. Or, you know, just somewhere else because that is in trend, like the cutouts yeah. everywhere. But she did make it look really elegant. I thought, yeah, when she just started gluing stuff on, or, you know, taping stuff on, that's when it yeah. started going south. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was pretty. I think it's so funny that you picked that dress because in my head, I knew you were going to say that. Me too. But you that's why? Is cougar. That's cougar. Like, look at him. He comes in, like, you Polished know, three pieces. Right. But remember, exactly. though, when we, the, um, what's her name challenge? Miranda Lambert and like Cougar loved that like halter long dress and it totally looked like a prom dress. And oh, this that dress, was an awful dress, it was. Maybe I <laughs> have some it. sort of like but you, prom obsession and maybe we should it's not a bad thing. wear prom dresses next week for Kai. Oh Lord. Cougar. Oh my God. And you can bring Best this idea massage. ever. It would actually at this I'll point be a bridesmaid dress yeah. for me. I have like a few. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Listen, maybe for the finale, we can oh. all get dressed up. I would it looked love like to a pageant tuxedo. dress to me, Kate and Two's. I uh, just but thought it was, was kind of boring. Yes. And typical, but not bad. Well, I didn't think exactly. it was ugly. Yeah, I didn't I think agree. it was terrible. Could have had a little bit lower of a cut up top here. Oh, he wants to show a little mama. cleavage. Just, just yeah. saying. They're in high school. So? I know. But they're the worst, actually. Oh, yeah. Wow. Especially <laughs> nowadays. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Teen <laughs> pregnancies. <laughs> on All the right. rise. Anyways, moving on. Before we get to the runway, I just wanted to say we're really excited to announce the release of Adventures of a Serial Buddy. It's a hilarious new, um, of Serial Buddies, it's a hilarious new comedy by the producers um, and creators of After Buzz TV, Maria Menounos and Kevin Undergaro. And it's starring Two Broke Girls, Beth Burrs, Artie Lang, Katie Lee Gifford, um, Christopher Lloyd, Christopher McDonald, our own Maria's in it. And mm -hmm. it has the voice of Henry Winkler. And let's see, Friday, March 8th, it's opening up in New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, San Francisco, Boston. Get your tickets. It's at AMC Theaters, mm -hmm. and it's really funny. That's All the tomorrow big night. I cannot yeah. wait. Tomorrow night. It's yep. a date. Yeah, well, you, if you haven't seen the trailer, please go and see the trailer as well. I think they have it on Facebook right now. Yep, adventuresofserialbuddies.com as well. You can mm -hmm. check out the trailer, buy tickets there. Help we'll us out. I'll be there. Support us. We're going. Can't wait for Support the Support Maria. Good yeah. job, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the runway. So. Oh, the runway. Oh, the it's runway. It's like they had two runways. They did. They, they did have they two runways. They I was confused. They duct taped off a runway in that gym. I thought they were going to add something to the challenge after that. Me too. You know, so that they ended up sending something a little bit different down. Mm. But yeah. they didn't, sadly. Sad. All right, let's start with Amanda and Michelle. I thought it was cute, creative, it had good movement, and it, at least it was different. Oh. Plus, um, the fact that they created their own fabric was pretty impressive to me. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, well executed. Chris Benz was guest judge, by the way. Yes, yes. Chris Benz, guest judge. He's dressed Michelle Obama. Yeah. I yeah. wonder what she wore. Something pink, I'm I guessing. Because I, I always it. hear of her in J. Crew. J. Oh, yeah. Crew. That's what I was And uh, Jason, Jason Wu. Wu. Right. I, I was expecting Jason, Jason Wu. J. Crew, Jason Wu, Chris Benz. Mm -hmm. And $5,000 is going to go to the winner of the challenge in their name for Autism Speaks. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. But anyways, Michelle and Amanda. Yeah. So Super cute. Cute red um, houndstooth dress. 
I thought it had really good movement. I'm not making any changes according to, I think, Michelle. Michelle. Said it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Were you impressed, Cougar? Yeah, it looked the same. It was from whatever. What I didn't did like you that. Think of it? I thought it looked fine. I didn't like that flat, you know, that one flap. If it had been a sweetheart neckline, I think I would have liked it a lot more. And I, I did appreciate its punk rockiness. Yeah, I agree. I I liked what Nina said, and she compared it to Gwen Stefani because I thought, oh, I could totally see her in that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, at first, like we said before, when they were putting it together, it was looking kind of costumey. And then when I saw the final version, I did. I loved the cut. I actually liked that flap because it was different. Yes. You know, and if the point of this challenge is to be a little bit more fashion forward, I just thought it was like one si simple addition um, that I think added to it. So I think more than anything, I actually just like the cut. The large houndstooth, like it's not for me, but I could definitely see that for a certain girl in high school. You know, I think that would fit someone super perfectly. So I thought uh, they did a good job. They worked well together, too. Virginia? I didn't like it. But, <laughs> but I'm really girly. Like, that is my thing. Exactly. You know, and I can see how someone that's a little bit more punk would like that. But I almost felt like it was trying a little too hard. Yeah. Right. I even, I noted it was, like, too bold, too. So I agree with you. It was, it was just very not for me. Yeah. And then the hair, like that little bow thing. The hair bow? The Gaga bow. I was like, okay. that. I think that's when I was like, okay, they're trying a little too hard. But they were really uh, excited in the L'Oreal hair and makeup to make the hair bow with that super slick gel to make it shiny Gosh. and stick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just think I really don't like Amanda and Michelle, and that could be my, you know. Bias. My yeah. bias. Yeah, with her little kimono on. Oh man, the kimono. <laughs> and her little top knot. I was like, are you gonna put chopsticks in there too? Yeah. Like, and that's so not even her style. Like did they did the producer say we're gonna put you in a kimono this time? That episode? was so random. Super yeah. random. Yeah. She's ridiculous. Stanley Sorry. and Liana, they made the little black and white dress. The trim was uh, black and white zebra, and then they had a pink bow on it. I thought it was good from far. Didn't love it up close. No. Had a cute shape though. Nah. I don't know why they chose the under thing to be just duct tape color. Like, why wouldn't you have chosen a different color? Like, you have black and white, and then you have hot pink, and then you just leave it at duct tape color? Eh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the, the bodice on that was just unattractive to me, the way they kind of outlined it and made that, I don't know, the, like the door, the window shutter shape. Mm. Not cute. <laughs> I, I'm just I liked, up terminology. I liked <laughs> the cut of it up at the top. I didn't think it looked good on their model for some reason. Like, I think you need to have a little bit more shape for that to be she was flattering. Very, yeah. There wasn't much there, let's just say yeah, that. Yeah. Um, I didn't like the hot pink color that they picked with that black and white. I think I would have maybe liked it better if that was like in a, like a bold or like a blue. deep, rich blue yeah. or something like that. Just not the hot pink. Yeah. And I like, I mean, I, I don't have anything against pink or, like, bold pinks. You just, but that was, like, a hot pink, and it, it was just not good. It looked like it was Kept from the go. Limited, too. It made it look The junior. Limited, too, but and I worked for the Limited, Where so. are girls yes. going to buy their prom dresses, though? I think teenage girls <laughs> like that hot pink bow thing. I just, I don't know. I think they could have picked a better color that would be more current. These are modern teenagers. Exactly. And then, modern teenagers. And then if they would have picked a better color for that bow, like a nice rich blue, they could have put that in the petticoat and it would have just added a little. Wait, wait. Can I, I ask, know. what did you guys wear to prom? Senior prom. Oh. oh. Very simple. I could still wear it. Alina, let's see. Very let's simple black BCBG dress, straight, and it had a keyhole right here. Just one Whoa, keyhole. Whoa, keyhole. Wow. Hey. Just one. What up? One keyhole. What were you telling your like date? This. And um, <laughs> nothing. He didn't even get a kiss. Oh. oh. <laughs> Black heels? Nice. Black heels. Thanks. Strappy. All right. Virginia. I wore a black velvet dress that looked like, um, yeah, well, it was like cold in Texas then. And mm. it was like a Jessica um, Rabbit, like slit Ooh. all the way up. Oh, yeah. But yeah, strapless sweetheart. Cute. Oh, Steven. that's off for Steven. her. And you guys don't tell. I no, know I'm I waiting like for it. it. I'm no. with, I go, Steven. I have a little keyhole. Steven. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit older Ooh. than you. You know what? Wow. You, you were in high school too. No, but you like, both but 18. like, no, I'm saying 17. like dated. Like, you know, that's oh. where like the black velvet Texas thing yeah. comes in. Like, you're yeah. Did you wear a cowboy hat? Oh, no. 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 Well, Low. your those dresses remind me of what I actually wore to homecoming. I could still wear my homecoming dress. 
Oh. Yeah, it was like a black halter and it had just a slit and it was just straight. That was pretty, but for prom, this, my prom dress, I would not wear that again. Okay, give it to us. It, it was a blue, um, it was kind of light, kind of on the light side. It was pretty then, but it was one shoulder. Okay, not bad. And then it had like some like rouging on the side. And other than that, it was just straight. So it was still very simple. That's not bad. No, it's not. But I look like a like a Cinderella weird. I didn't like it. I think I didn't like my hair. I didn't like my makeup. It was bad. Did oh, you my have hair the and makeup was terrible. Bad. Hair and makeup. No. Oh. Gosh, and makeup. how many disasters did you have of hair and makeup? Like, I mean, maybe it's because I'm from Texas and, like, you know, we had, like, semi-formal, prom, cotillion. Like, yeah. we had, like, I had, like, five <laughs> formals a year. Plus, we I went to an all-girls school and then the all-boys school had one. So, I, yeah. it was just, like, millions. See, mine was because I didn't do my own. Like, I can do I my own makeup either. and I actually had someone else do it and that was my mistake because I was like, this is bad. Oh. And you can't really fix it at that point, no. you know, unless you're going to do it all over. Mm -hmm. So, now we're sidetracking, but... Cougar, prom, what prom did spun. your date wear? I didn't go to prom. <gasps> Take we are doing prom. Now, now we need to wear prom dresses. Nope, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> good, because I didn't want to wear a prom dress. <laughs> I went, but I went stag with my three best friends. I wore a silk frog button kung fu suit. Boring. <laughs> oh, no. are you kidding? My my other best are friend you dressed. Yes, I. That's what so I wore. So you were Amanda for prom. What? <laughs> so you Amanda. were Amanda. I, yeah, I was. I was Amanda's date, and then uh, my other best friend wore uh, like a breakdancing getup, and then one was James Bond, and one was in a zoot suit. Wow. Very interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. So, and we we rolled up no in a prom. little Volkswagen Golf. Nice. <laughs> Glad yes. those days are over. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I do not miss you, high school. My hair was oh. platinum blonde. Wow. No. Right. No. I'm can't even imagine. I think you had the most exciting outfit out of all of us. Yeah, I had terrible ones. <laughs> We're all simple. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's Silk funny. frog buttons, come on. Oh. Anyways. Yeah, all who right. do we have next? Who do we, I know, we da digress. Uh, Daniel? Richard and Daniel, yeah. all I wrote was dated, hated the skirt, 80s. They could have gone right. It went so wrong. And they had no idea it was terrible. Because Heidi was like, how long was it since you went to prom? And he's like, 20 years. And she they was were, like, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> yeah, they were like cracking up. And they were they so excited it. about it. They were all smiles. Yes. Yeah. From and heroes. Then they were like, well, I hated this. Yeah. Heroes Nina, to zeros. Nina, Nina put it, Nina put it right. on them. Man, Man, Nina was ripping tonight. And she's so right, though. I mean, how much did we love Daniel in the beginning? And how amazed were we? you know, by his work. Yeah. And it's so true. He went from like way up here to like way down at the bottom. It's the collaborations really too that have yeah. I think thrown him off. Cause when he, I think the first few things we saw were more him. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, we knew it. What I really liked about this episode, I think my favorite part was actually when Zach stepped up to Nina and he oh, was, that yeah. was, I was like, finally, like he's showing oh, a little bit yeah. of I love spunk. Nina. Yes, but he he's was good. just like, when have you been a prom? Oh, I've been dressing girls for prom every day. And I was like, oh. Damn. Ah, and that they, was yeah. a good moment. That was an awesome yeah. moment. That was TV. I know. Yeah. And they don't have enough of that on this show. It's really surprising how they generally yeah. agree. But that, that little cattiness was so welcome. It'll happen because I think it's just a matter of them getting comfortable with each other. When you're in your first few episodes, especially when you're Zach posing and you're new to this panel, you're just trying to make your comments and... It's not as comfortable. Once you get more comfortable in it, right. you're a little bit more and carefree they, you and you know, let it go. We should say they were, uh, they were disagreeing over two and Kate's dress. Right. But who's the expert? I want to know. Is Nina the expert who no, absolutely is not. an editor uh, or Zach no. who's a designer? I think it's Zach. Well, actually, I don't know. I think that is a tough one because I don't think girls, like prom age girls, they don't read Mary Claire. And okay, then the other yeah. thing is Zach Posen Prom age girls aren't wearing Zach Posen. I agree. I totally Upper East agree with they you are. on that. What? In the Upper East Side, they are. <laughs> oh, yes. You're probably oh, right. Yeah. New York? Yeah. All yeah. those uh, private yeah. school girls? Especially, with, like, they have websites now, like shoppers.com, where you can get, like, or rent the runway, you know, yeah. where you can get those dresses, especially in New York. Right. I mean, you can get a dress like that for $75. But the thing is, Zach, if Zach Posen's dress is there, he didn't make that dress yeah. for a prom. Right. So when he made that comment, I thought, really? Are you? But I do right. agree with you that... You know, I think Nina, she's so credible and she knows her stuff and she knows fashion forward, but prom dresses, 
I don't yeah, know. Yeah, she you're kept right. saying her, her buzzword was, these girls, you know, that's a girl that's plugged in. And I'm like, you're not plugged into the 16, 17 year old girl, Nina. You know. But you know, However, 16 and 17 year olds, they are plugged into trends because right. everybody knows about celebrities these days. Yeah. So everybody wants to look like yeah. them. And they're a little bit older. And every know? trend comes from a runway. It yeah. just depends on how long it takes to get right. to 16 and 17 year olds. But I know when I was, you know, 16, 17, I wasn't reading Vogue. Like, no. but girls nowadays, they have access to they that. Read yeah. Vogue. They read Vogue. They do. Yeah. So it's so much different from back then that I think that they, you know, fashionable girls do know about those yeah. things. Also, blogs. Yeah, have changed oh, everything because teenagers right. are following bloggers who are highly fashionable now. Right. Yeah. So maybe they're both just really credible in their own way, but they just have a difference of opinion. And we love it because it makes for good mm. TV. Bring it. And they were talking about uh, Kate and Two's dress. Uh, I thought it was boring and it wasn't unique. It wasn't an ugly dress. It fit really well. Right. I just thought, hmm, yeah. I've seen it. Seen it. That's exact. I put pretty nothing new. Yep. That's it. All right. Virginia? I agree. I mean, I like it. If it would have been on someone really curvy, like, that would look really right. nice. Like, you know, if you, like, my most recent thought of, you know, mermaid dresses, um, Sofia Vergara, when she was in that exactly. great green dress, you know, like, if it would have been a different color, maybe it would have, yeah. you know, really popped, but yeah. that blue is just drab. Yeah, she wears a mermaid dress on every red carpet. Well, wouldn't you? Her Hell body yeah, I is would. ridiculous. <laughs> yes, I would. But I'm just saying, I've noticed that she does. Cougar would put a corsage on that dress. We all oh. know that because mm. he. I put a ring on that. <laughs> on it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Patricia and Samantha. Mm. I thought it was different, modern, a little too futuristic, but I didn't hate it. Right. Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> it's I'm speechless. Sorry. I lost for yeah, words. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't. Like, I felt like it was, you know, um, did you guys remember that bubble boy in Colorado when he was coming down? Like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, oh, in my God. In the spaceship. Yeah. Or yeah. My son's in the spaceship. Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember watching that from kind work. kind of what it made live. me think of, you know, when she, especially yes. when they first walked down in the gymnasium. For like, sure. I thought that was the first thing that came to mind. So. Yeah. I, I felt like it was like a, you know, one of those blankets when you're caught in the cold and, you know, you're you're trapped out, yeah, yeah. out in the wilderness and can't be rescued for days on end. Then you wear that dress <laughs> or, you know, like I think Tim, even back in the runway, so, well, not Tim, but somebody made a comment that it looked like. You know, like uh, I think it was Daniel, like popcorn. That's yeah. Right, the the popcorn. Jiffy comment. pop. Jiffy pop. Like right, right, right. That's right. the tempo. I hated the shape, and I mean, well, the Ooh. shape of the bottom was fine, but the top looked lame, and Sam really sucked that up. She was panicking the whole time, and and didn't really add to that dress. It was all Patricia, and if they had one, it would have been Patricia's win. But that dress sucked, in my opinion. I totally disagree. I totes disagree. I do. <laughs> I, I really liked the cut of it really because I thought it. it was different. It was new. Um, I thought it was Super that good new. combination between, like, you know, everybody wants a little bit of a shorter dress. You don't want this full, long dress all the time. So I thought it was just a really fashion-forward Cut. Sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, the teenagers like that. Dress. And it was a really, it was a really deep V. Yeah. Right. I thought that was, I thought it was cute. I agree with you in that. I thought it was very futuristic, almost a little too futuristic. Back to the futuristic. But like you said, it was the best of the worst, in my opinion. And there was something that was fun about it. Like, I think whoever would wear that dress would be a really fun person right. and would and have a really forward. good time at prom. I, I would have worn it. Maybe. I think that shows how out of touch with teenagers I really am. Mm -hmm. The fact that that dress won, and I hated it. Yeah, I thought touch. it was cute. I thought it was fun, and it was just different. We got to move forward in fashion. God. Fashion forward. Right. Mm -hmm. Future. All right, let's get to the winners for the night. Michelle and Amanda. That surprised me. Uh, that surprised me. That surprised the heck out of me. They were leaning towards Patricia and Samantha the whole time and kept commenting. And, mm -hmm. and they, they won the extra kids votes. Choice. Yeah. Surprised me, too. Surprised me. And, of course, Michelle takes the win. I think she deserved it. She came up with the whole yeah. idea of doing the hounds, too. Right. Before we announce the loser, can I just say I was actually really surprised by how everybody was on the runway. And, like, when they said, okay, who would win? And they were always offering their teammate, which you don't always see that. And then when they went to Kate and Two and said, you know, if you were to lose, who would be the loser? And I was actually really surprised that Kate 
offered herself. Right. You know, she said, well, this was, you know, really my design. So if there were to be someone to go home, it would be me. And I actually thought the pairings in this particular episode went really worked. well because they all must have really enjoyed working with each other that they were able to do that. Right. You know? That's yeah. my thought. All right. Losers for the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Two and Kate. Two I'm and sorry. Kate. Are and, Kate. and Kate. Two yeah. and Kate. How about it? Yeah. Your how much of a loop was that? Mm -hmm. But this yeah. was another time, you know, they actually spotlighted Daniel and Richard, you know, and really stuck it to them. Heroes to zeros, you know, because they both did put out some good work individually. Yeah. And then, yeah, the, the Kate, you're out too. Everybody was like, what? Yes, yeah. we were all shocked because they announced two first, paused for a moment, and then said, "Okay, oh, by the way, you're out too. <laughs> <laughs> we just let you cry for two, but now you can cry sad. for Yeah, cry for your own. I was sad for her, actually. I would have liked her. to have seen her continue because I think she could bring a lot to the table. She was pretty good. I yeah. was starting to get impressed with her designs, and it's sad to see her. Good designs, boring designs, though. Like, good um, construction, I think, and silhouettes, but just, you know, very everything's commercial. been very yeah. plain she and She had boring. a good attitude. Well, she's, I, she I, had a good that. attitude, I think too. she's commercial because she has her own bridal salon. Yeah. So, like, she's oh, she used, does? Yeah, yeah, she does. Oh. Um, I actually went and found her online, and so she has her whole, whole, her whole thing kind of already going. So, so at 22 or 23, so I think that's yeah. what, like you can see it through all of her silhouettes. Yeah, like, look she's at very that dress. Bridal. That dress in white. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Wedding dress. Get it. Yeah. All right. But, Before we get to news, let's talk about yeah. iTunes. iTunes. Well, have you guys been on iTunes lately? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So we just want to remind you guys that we are on iTunes if you're watching us live or if you're watching us on YouTube, you can always go to iTunes. You can subscribe. You definitely want to give us four, five stars. Sorry, four. <laughs> Don't do that. Five. Five stars. And please comment because we always want to know what you think about this season, what you think about our commentary, if you disagree with Cougar, because you know you do. Oh, yes. please. <laughs> Join the team. Go to <laughs> iTunes, comment, and continue to subscribe to us because we appreciate the help. Yep, and tell a friend. And tell a friend. All right, let's get to some news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. I'm going to let Stephen play that nice music for this one small news piece. <laughs> you guys big. have already probably heard, but our favorite judge, Heidi Klum, has now been announced as the fourth judge of America's Got Talent. You know, there's always previously been three judges. Well, now they've added a fourth, and this is the gorgeous Heidi Klum. She will be joining Howie Mandel, Howard Stern, and Mel B, who is replacing Sharon Osbourne. Hmm. So you guys can get more of Heidi when you watch America's Got Talent. It returns this summer. Ding, ding, ding. I yeah. thought it was an interesting choice. I thought so too, but she has such a fun, quirky personality. I'm gonna actually be interested to hear what she has to say. And she has such a different expertise, which I think is what's interesting. Yeah. But I guess right. on America's Got Talent, it's such a variety. It's yeah. random. She, what I do like is that she's really blunt. Yes. Yeah. She is really blunt. And she'll probably like really weird things. And that's what that show brings. Because she's German. Yeah. Because she's German. Yeah. And she's hot. Can I tell a story, quick she's story about German. Heidi? I was watching an interview she did on Ellen, and Ellen's like, so what can we expect this season of Project Runway? And she literally said, not even kidding around, she said, same shit, different designers. <laughs> <laughs> and she was not kidding. She's just no. blunt. No. I swear to I you. I love it. So. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to change the show now. We're in season 11. It's and it never stops. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we never. have been here every Thursday <laughs> since like July. Never go away. <laughs> yeah, between this and All Stars, it, yeah. it never stops. When one, you know, the, there's a finale and then there's a premiere. And Give so, us one week, guys. Just one, <laughs> one week. vacation. We love you. We're gonna be in the home. <laughs> All right. Our after buzz recap. Yeah. What's for next week? Oh, for Project Runway? Yeah. yeah. Predictions. Ooh. What did they have did to they do? What did they show? Uh, that's uh, a great question. Uh, <laughs> Let us know, because we don't. No, we, we saw it, and didn't we, like, kind of react to it? Yeah, we all were like, oh, what was it? Oh, gosh. Oh! oh thunder down thunder under. from down <laughs> under. Oh, that's right. They get to design for greasy, nasty, greasy, overly <laughs> men. 
which how much are they gonna even have to do? They wear what are nothing. They designing, right? right? Underwear? They're designing the clothes they rip <laughs> off. Okay. Right? So okay. the fireman outfit, the p police officer this outfit. Be they can get creative. They yeah, can get but creative. But it has to be cheap because they just have to rip. I yeah. think they right? should make a papal like the Pope's outfit and they should, they should <laughs> that rip is it off so and be like, wrong. I'm retiring. Oh my god, Alina. <laughs> That's boom, like boom. You're going to hell for oh, that one. Blasphemy. He's retiring. So wrong. I know. He's I, out. No, he retired. He's already out. Done. But it was like a stripping pope. That's just Here's so Jesus. wrong. That's not going to happen. So many ways. That wow. Oh. But a, a good a thought. Joke. It was a joke. <laughs> Sorry, God. Wow. No, that was good. Right. That's our prediction. A stripping right. pope. <laughs> right? That was mine. <laughs> they want right. innovative yeah. people. Innovative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for listening. Hope I haven't offended too many people. Follow me on Twitter at underscore Alina, A-L-I-N-A-2-3. And you can follow me at Virginia Reina. And you can follow me at Lo underscore Baez. And you can disagree with me at Cougar <laughs> Tweets. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.